What's up everyone, Beastmo back here with another video. So today we're gonna do something a little different. Um, it was a tournament that just completed, uh, Peak of the Beak 2 is what it was called. It's a multi-day Swiss tournament. Um, I actually did not play in it, it's just not my style. I played in the first one. Um, you, you have to schedule matches with your opponent. You have uh, a couple days to play them. Um, just not something I found to really like that much. You know, I would play in another, I'm not saying I wouldn't play in another one, but um, I definitely prefer the, you know, sit down and play a tournament in one weekend, um, just because I feel like you can, uh, you, A, you get it done in one, one weekend, you can plan for that, and B, like, if you're really in the zone, and you're, you know, going beast mode every round, and just winning, um, it's hard to carry that on over multiple weeks, so I just feel like your level of play may not be as good, uh, or consistent, you know, match to match, or round to round, rather, because there's so much time in between and, and there's time for you to feel sick or be sick in between that, you know, who knows life happens. So anyway, tournament's done. It was about 85 ish players. I believe, um, I wasn't keeping a whole lot of tabs. A lot, uh, a lot of my teammates actually played in it. I was kind of watching their matches, but, um, no zombies top, which is the first tournament in probably a year. Nobody top with zombies. Like I said, I didn't play in it. So that may have something to do with it because I usually top most of the events I play in, but, um there were some players that played zombies and um they were close i think my teammate was x and two on the cusp of topping to get like 16 place so they were definitely close to topping but um here's the winner hydro pump i'm sure many of you heard of him he is a uh, very good player i played him once um i believe in rbet3 which was the only rbet that i did not top he actually beat me in swiss he was playing um dragon turbo i think i was on like a quick draw build with triple thunder king um actually deck was pretty good but um i think i lost like round four to, to hydro pump so um he has topped a couple rbts i believe and um yeah he's a good player so this deck here is pretty cool uh it's obviously black wings which is very common in this format but there's no mirror force in the deck which i thought was interesting um main decks one style that road probably just for mirror match um Sideboard is really cool with the Prohibition. I'm not sure entirely what he calls or where he puts these in. Um, he does have a YouTube channel, and I I wonder if he actually posted a video about his deck or not, but maybe he can elaborate on this. It's kind of a cool uh, idea. And uh, Skill Drain is obviously fine to side again. doesn't hurt the deck at all. Um, everything else here is kind of routine. Um, Thunder King's pretty good. So what I plan on doing today is maybe hopping into a live match with the deck. I play Black Wings twice a year if I'm lucky, and I'm probably going to get destroyed. But we're going to play it with the Beast Mode style, which is slow and control. And we're going to see how that works because uh, Black Wings are probably the opposite of control. They're very aggressive, and um, let's see what we can do here. So let's load it up, and we'll just kind of play live and talk through some of the plays. And I am sure I'm going to make mistakes with this deck. I just am not familiar with it enough. We're just going to click on this person here. This is pretty much how I play test. I just load it right in. And we will say good luck to our opponent. And we are going second. So good. Um, yeah, so when I play test for tournaments, I pretty much just play random people through the last couple of weeks before the tournament and just kind of get a feel for the deck. And then... Um, you know, maybe I'll play teammates or um, occasional high-level play with some top players, but not often. So it looks like we're playing uh, Lice Warren or Christia Warren. That's cool. So let's see what we can do here. Um, so we could do a couple things. Uh, we could brain control, pop the back row with Lila, synchro with the uh, Blizzard. Uh, I'm not sure I really want to do that. Um, we could MST here. I think that might be a little bit better because of the fact that I don't think we're going to get much of a chance to use these uh, magic and trap removal here. If it's typical ice worn, though, it may not be because I see a crow. I'm not sure. So I think maybe we just slam the MST here, which I don't often like to do, but it might be worth here. Okay. And maybe he has honest in his hand. It may not even be ice worn. So we're going to find out right now. Okay, so that was cool. That's the first time I've done that in quite a while. Um, so the question is, where do we go from here? Um, we can go value into a level five. Uh, we can go Gale, which is fine too, but um, um, I think I'm just gonna go value here. Let's attack. Let's 
So I am not going to synchro here. I'm gonna. I, it's definitely wrong, but I'm gonna set Book of Moon here. Maybe pretend I have an Icarus. It's gonna be that uh, we're gonna get punished for this play. <laughs> Excuse me. Sets a back row, or sets a monster rather. Make a level five. So I guess you would probably just go into like Android here or Catastor if needed. So we get a Bora. Um, so I'm probably supposed to just windmill slam the Bora. I'm not sure. Um, could be a Raikou here. I think we're just gonna attack. Sure, that's fine. We figured as much. So he played around Icarus, didn't give us anything else. And he hit a Dandelion, that's cool. Um, so I think we're just going to kill a token here. We're still reading as if we have Icarus attack. And um, we got a Brain Control, a Blizzard play if we need to. Um, this deck feels bad without Whirlwind, though, I tell you. So I think at this point I'll just chain and put this face down so we don't take any damage here. I don't he plays nobleman or she plays nobleman. Um so definitely was trying to play around Icarus. Now if I had Icarus, I could have chained it there. So we're playing against Quick Draw, cool. I'm not sure how Black Wings fare against Quick Draw, but And Debris, wow, this is cool. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much the best play that quick draw has here. Um, this here, quick draw, typically the only thing that would have been better is pitching a dandelion, but, um, so we're going into what stardust. Okay. That's cool. Sorry, I'm just situating myself uh, in the chair here so I don't fall out of it. Okay, we're doing half the attack. Uh, I don't think that was necessary. You could have just attacked directly. Maybe he's trying to play around Gores. That I'm confused. Uh, yeah, that would be my guess. I don't know. So, pitching is one card here. Okay. So, do we just win? I think we could just win, right? So this guy here has Trample, I believe. Gains 500 attack during a damage step only. So it's 2,800. So we got a 2,800. Um, or, yeah, hold on a second. We might be able to win here. Um, I think we win, uh, right? Yeah. So we would summon this here. We're gonna activate the effect. We do this like this. I'm probably not doing this right. I'm sure they'll tell me if I am or am not. We special summon this like this. These guys can all be special summoned. So we just kind of, we do the like windmill slam, like boom, boom, like this. Here we go again, let me show you. One more like that, boom. And then we go like this. And I don't know how to add, but that's a lot of damage. And yeah, I win. So GG. Oh, and they left the game. So that was what we had for the video today. Unfortunately, they didn't play a match. Um, so uh, yeah, so that's Black Wings. Pretty good, right? Um, even if, let's say we couldn't OTK there, right? We still had a Gale play, which is really good. We could have even just done like um, Summon Gale, Special Summon Bora, and done the whole uh, half the attack. Um, and Drill Warrior looping there is um, annoying because eventually they're going to gain some advantage here. So we were able to OTK. Uh, that was cool. I haven't done that in a while. And um, I'm not sure I played anything wrong there, but uh, we didn't get to play a match. So if you guys like this type of video, if you want me to just kind of play live like this, whatever deck, um, you know, it'll more than likely be zombies. But um, I don't know. I mentioned in the other video, Quick Draw is definitely my uh, favorite deck, I'd say. Um, I have no problem doing that maybe play some of the other top tier decks um, or maybe some of the other decks that even top this tournament. I don't mind, you know, playing a match with that and maybe talking about the deck. So um, I'm making this video this week because I'm trying to get myself situated for um, stream. I do think the first stream is probably going to be 
right before Deck Devastators, that first weekend in February, I would like to do that. Um, definitely want to talk about the uh, expected metagame of that tournament for those who are playing and, and you know maybe some side deck choices um, for certain decks. So if you guys like the video or the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I try to answer every comment that's on the channel or the video. And um, I'll see you all in the next one.